it's time to wake up, sweetie. <laughs> um, Taylor's coming out with her ninth album tonight. <laughs> Evermore, and <laughs> she said it's folklore sister. I'm elated. Seen more Instagram notifications. Um, I just opened my eyes. I just opened my eyes. I'm not gonna stop calling her either. I don't know if she's gonna answer me. Everybody ignore my nails. Hello? Emma. Hey. It is time to wake up, sister. <sighs> What? Taylor's releasing an album at midnight. What? <laughs> I'm not what? kidding. I'm not kidding you. It's called Evermore. I'm gonna claim track one. What is track five? Tolerate it? Wait, can I count? Yes, tolerate it. Long story short, okay. Right. Oh, We've arrived at Duncan, and that's what we need. Come on, now. I can help you. Hi, um, I would like a medium peppermint mocha ice latte, please. Hey guys, it's Rachel. So I literally cannot believe that I'm starting this vlog. Huh, this sounds like something familiar from July. Well, that's because Taylor is dropping another surprise album. It's Folklore Sister and her name is Evermore. Taylor is dropping her ninth studio album tonight. And um, I vlogged for you guys when Lover came out. I vlogged when Folklore came out. So it only feels right to document Miss Evermore. And I guess it really didn't hit me. I woke up this morning and Taylor started posting those nine squares like she did before um, when Folklore dropped. And so I was like, hmm. And I thought maybe it had something to do with like a re-recording or like a music video. No, just a whole new album with 15 songs, two deluxe songs, and I am, um, how do you say, spiraling. So, um, it didn't hit me because I had just opened my eyes and I was calling Natalie, I called Emma, and I just, nothing was processing for me. Um, I was saying it, but I didn't believe it. Like, it just felt so surreal saying that her ninth studio album is literally coming tonight. So I was listening to Folklore on my way to work and I just got so emotional because Taylor's music just makes me feel so understood. It always like has and she always seems to know when to like crop up and like be like hello I'm doing something just when like I need her most. I always need Taylor but just I don't know when Folklore came out I was really going through it and now it's the same way. 2020 has not been easy in any single way, but Taylor's music really has been the soundtrack to my life. And I just wanna say before this new album comes out, Taylor, thank you so much for Folklore. It has made me, wow, I'm getting emotional. That album, out of all of your albums, that is the album that I relate to the very most. Every single song on that album is one that I resonate with. And songs like My Tears for Cachet have gotten me through a lot, especially this week. Um, there's no way that I could ever say thank you for writing the soundtracks to my life and writing the most important songs and things I need to hear when I don't even understand myself how I feel sometimes. So thank you. Folklore means everything to me. And um, yeah, we'll catch up with you guys later for some more um, festivities. I, what in the world? I am feeling snackish, but um, I didn't wanna like, usually on my way home, if I go somewhere, I go to Starbucks or Dunkin' to get a drink. But first of all, I still have my coffee from this morning because yeah, anyways. Um, so I was like, I need a little snack because my plan is to go home and study. Doesn't that sound absolutely entertaining for a vlog? No, you guys can say no, it won't hurt my feelings. Don't worry, I won't bother you with that. Guys, I literally cannot believe we are getting a new Taylor Swift album tonight. It's 
it's still like processing and it's a good thing it's still processing because if it like full-on has hit me yet i don't think i'd be able to do this exam like sorry professor taylor swift just sprung an album on us i know it wasn't in the syllabus but like you know um i'm gonna have to uh not do it but uh that's that's not okay i've acquired the snack i'm ready to go home i'm motivated because taylor swift is dropping an album tonight oh my god all right, you guys, so I am FaceTiming Emma, and we are going through the entire track list, and we're trying to, like, figure out what we, like, think the song's gonna be about, or, like, just do, like, little predictions here and there. What are your thoughts right now? I honestly could not tell you. Like, I think I could, like, going through this, I kind of think maybe I can decipher, like, a little bit, like, potentially, but I know that I'm gonna be wrong most, most likely. How do you feel about Taylor Swift dropping her ninth studio album? I'm really excited, and I also, like, I, I'm really excited and very happy. <laughs> like, that, that's all I can say. <laughs> Me interviewing her. Um, what is your favorite song off Folklore? I know the answer, but you tell the people. I like Peace and uh, August. Thank you so much for your interview. If anyone was wondering, no, it still hasn't hit me and it is 10.30 right now. Sorry, 10.40. When I said that, that literally made me realize we're like an hour and a half, less than an hour and a half away from a new Taylor Swift album. I took my exam, I got a B on it, I'll take it because I have no idea what's going on in that class if I'm being honest. Uh, so, I was glad with that grade. And then I ate my dinner, I FaceTimed Emma, and here we are. We're about to, I'm about to get in the shower and yeah. Well, you guys, we're about to get the ninth Taylor Swift album, which makes me emotional because I have been a fan of her since Fearless. So that is, that's eight albums of me loving Taylor Swift. And Miss Debut, you are the world to me. But I started standing Taylor when I heard Love Story. Um, but Debut is honestly so underrated in my eyes. Like, I definitely, definitely, um, one of my earliest memories of loving Taylor was dragging my huge CD player um, that was actually my mom's, but I was like, I'm gonna borrow that and I would go and I would take baths and I would just have her debut album specifically on repeat and <laughs> I would like try and do like little hand signs and that was just like my time and that was in elementary school and I just remember running up to everyone being like hey do you like Taylor Swift what's your favorite Taylor Swift song like that was elementary school and I'm a junior in college now and so I am so thankful to have Taylor in my life and like I said she always seems to pop up just she shows up just in time and she just she makes me so happy she gives me something to look forward to with Taylor with loving Taylor you never know what you're in for she could literally say something so simple in an Instagram story and it turns out it's the name of a song or she le leaves like an Easter egg in a music video or she, oh my gosh, I remember, <laughs> I remember when Lover came out and how many times she was like, well, the album name's in the music video and we were all like, it, there was a big Lover sign in the music video and it just went all over our head. Like, she's just always up to something. She's always planning something. She's always going out of her way for us and I was talking about this with Emma. I found it very sentimental how Taylor said ever since she was 13 that turning 31 would be a big deal to her and how she wanted to give a presence to her fans as well and she means the world to me and she I told Emma this too and I've said it a million times I fell in love with Taylor's music specifically love story first but I stayed because of her character. And I will never not be proud to support Taylor. 
So, um, with that being said, I am just watching the Willow YouTube live chat. It goes really fast, but I'm able to get updates. And so that's really fun, and I'm so excited, you guys. I'm going to turn on all my Christmas lights, and I'm going to turn off my main bedroom light and just have my moment. And I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Guys! It's out. It's 11.56. It's out. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to Willow and then I'm gonna... That'll probably be perfect timing for the music video. I love it already. Rough on the surface but you cut through the leg and knife. Priceless wine. happening I just listened to Willow and freaking now the <laughs> video is about to premiere and I want to like watch the Willow music video before like I listen to the rest of the album <laughs> I just hit a whistle tone I just finished Evermore and I've never been such at a loss of words like in the best way possible like I don't even know what to say I'm just in shock there's so much like I have to say but nothing will like compute in my brain I'm just floored by Taylor Swift number one her vocals are absolutely stunning we knew this but like like, her vocals in Dorothea. Oh my gosh. And even, like, in Willow, like, that first you guys saw, I was, like, in shock. So, Gold Rush is an absolute bop. Um, it's so good. It's absolutely one of the ones that stood out to me, and it's one of my favorites. <sighs> Number five, track five. If you're a Taylor Swift fan, you always know that track five is, like, the emotional raw song, vulnerable song. Yeah, it definitely, definitely is. The bridge really hit home. It made me feel the same way that My Tears Ricochet, that bridge makes me feel. Like, it had the same impact and feeling for me. Happiness, um, it made me cry a lot. And it's not exactly a happy song, but it's the song that I needed to hear. And I have never, I've said this many times before, but the timing of the song coming out is perfect. You know, somebody can make you so happy, you can make someone so happy, and then somebody just like, it goes out of your life unexpectedly sometimes and you you're just left like I don't know you're just things can switch up so fast um so this song really hit home for me and so it was a song that I needed to hear and so um it was really important for me to hear Let's talk about Evermore. Evermore is beautiful as well. It's so raw and I love the piano in it. <sighs> Closure? Closure had so much going on. I'm not kidding you. Like, it sounded like so chaotic, but in the best way. Long Story Short is so good too. It's such a bop. Um, okay, and then I'm going to talk about the Willow music video. The Willow music video... I loved it so much. I thought it was really cool how she incorporated, like, the one single thread of gold tied me to you from Invisible String. And I love how she's tying folklore and Evermore together, even visually. 
And yeah, I love how I loved the scene where she was like stuck in like this box and she couldn't find her way out. And it was the way she feels like in the public eye, like she's trapped sometimes. And I loved that metaphor in the music video. Taylor is one of those that even in, you know, the music video, she showcases the song so beautifully and she further makes you understand the song and guys I love this album so much I can't wait to listen to it again um, it's so soothing to me and it definitely does feel like a continuation of folklore and I'm I love folklore like I told you guys that album means the world to me happiness is definitely a song that I'm going to cling to right now. Um, so yeah, I can't think, oh my gosh, Willow is actually one of my favorites too. I, I just like, there's so many thoughts going on up here, but every single one of them I love and I can't wait to grow with them and learn the lyrics. There's so many lyrics to learn and like learn like the story. I will definitely pick up this vlog camera again in the morning, give you guys like an update, like how I'm feeling about the album, like, do I have any new favorites, or did I pick up on anything, you guys will see, um, but yeah, I just love vlogging this experience for you guys, it's truly so meaningful to me, and so, yeah, I was gonna say I'll see you guys in the morning, but it is the morning, so, I'll see you guys after my nap. <laughs> One of those days, this happens every single Taylor Swift album release day where you're just ready to get up and listen to the album again. Oh my gosh, so I'm out running some errands and I'm so happy that I have some errands to run and I am so excited to do them because I get to listen to Evermore and it is so good. No body, no crime. This morning has been like one I've been like, oh, that's really good. Like, I guess I, you know, sometimes when the first listen hits, you're like, you're so caught up in it, but No Body, No Crime is one of my favorites this morning. Gold Rush, I played five times in a row. Yeah, Tis the Damn Season is another one that's like really hitting with me this morning. Um, so I absolutely, I really love this album. So more thoughts to come. This morning, I actually got a couple comments on my channel that were like, Rachel, oh my gosh, have you listened to Evermore? Oh my gosh, Rachel, is there a video coming? And so I told you guys that I've been vlogging, so hello. Um, but yeah, so you guys are curious about my opinion, so I am going to tell you my opinion. I think Evermore is so, so good. I love folklore so so much and as we can tell folklore means a lot to me I've said it multiple times in this vlog um, but Evermore is just it's so good it is such a sister album it feels like you know how Carly Rae Jepsen does like emotion side B what well, feels like side B of folklore and I love that so much I love like the parallels and I love how like in the music video for Willow she ties it into ideas from folklore so they are really combined and I just I love it so so much my favorites right now um, I told you guys my favorites at like 2 a.m. last night and honestly I was I was half asleep so so my favorites right now are Willow Gold Rush is probably number one for me right now Ooh, no body no crime is just so good Coney Island is really really going up there with every single listen these songs just like I don't know I just fall in love with them every single time like even more than I did the first time the whole album is so good the way she sings Dorothea a chef's kiss okay I just wanted to say I absolutely love that lyric. I polish plates until they gleam and glisten. It's such a simple concept and I love how Taylor takes those simple concepts and turns them into like this complex feeling. You polish yourself and you make, you put your best effort forward for someone and tell you know you sparkle and shine the relationship or the friendship is just sparkling and 
sometimes that feeling fades away and sometimes that that is such like a good like you polish plates until like they're gleaming but in the end what good does it really do if it's gonna get dirty again I wait by the door like I'm a kid use your use my best colors for your portrait lay the table with the fancy shit and watch you tolerate it if it's all in my head tell me now tell me I've got it wrong so somehow I know my love should be celebrated but you tolerate it I just you know you can give your all to someone and then they might not reciprocate it but what you do for others should be acknowledged and celebrated so now that I just went on a rant about tolerate it let's talk about nobody no crime I love this song so much and it reminds me kind of like of two black Cadillacs by Carrie Underwood I don't know it just gives like that vibe but like this song is such a bop and I can't express how much I love Gold Rush I it's one of those songs that you have to like go back and repeat like you can't just listen to it once <sighs> like the way it just kicks in oh so good so good this has to be my favorite okay pause that part right there deserves to be in a disney movie okay Yeah, I just love this album. I can't wait to continue to listen to it over and over and over again. And yeah, I just, please leave your thoughts below. Um, I always get this way when it's album release day. Like I can never, I, I have so many thoughts, but they're all coming at you at once. I, there's not a song I dislike on this album at all. I absolutely think Majori is so beautiful. It's about Taylor's grandmother, and I love how she put Epiphany on Folklore, which was about her grandfather on her dad's side, and then she put Majori on this album, and she is her grandmother on her mom's side. So I think that song is beautiful, and um, that one actually means a lot to me too. They all mean a lot to me, and yeah, please let me know what your favorites are below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for sharing this time with me. I can't wait to get this video up for you guys so I can like talk to you guys in the comments, and yeah, I hope this video entertained you in some way, and I sincerely hope I see you, yes you, in the next one. Bye guys!